seven. Beautiful stroke. And that's four more magnificently timed. And that's it. That's a short boundary down there. And even though Hughes got a lot of hand on to it, the ball will just go across the road. That's his half century. The none for 93. Greenwich comes down the track, hits it beautifully at six. First six of the match. Beaten by the slower ball. There's a big shout there from Ian Healy and he's been given. Gordon Greenwich has been given out. So the slower ball has uh, struck once again for Craig McDermott. Looked like it must have been an inside edge onto the uh, leg and then bounced up in the air to Ian Healy. New batsman is Richie Richardson. That's a good shot. There's a gap straight down the ground. Richie Richardson didn't move his feet very far, but he moved his bat straight through the ball. And he's given, and Desmond Haynes has gone. Now, that was a unanimous appeal. Must have been quite a faint nick. That's another one that's beaten the wicket keeper. That brings up the 50 partnership and the crowd just lighting the fires to help the batsmen see. They're obviously of the opinion that it's too dark here to continue playing. We've had all sorts of frustration here. The fourth day completely washed out after the thunderstorms on the third evening and uh, it was uh, ironic that once again today with the sun beating down a lovely day you just couldn't have asked for anything more hardly a wisp of cloud around that uh, there was further delay 264 for the west indies batting first mcdermott to hooper and he's bowled him off stump knocked right out of the ground so the australian bowlers were quite happy to take on the challenge hooper was driving extremely well mcdermott keeping the ball up to him and that one coming back in through the gap and Hooper is bowled off stump and the third West Indies wicket is down. Richards has hit that way down the ground into the press box. That's a ginormous six. Just far enough to be over the red stripe sign. Uh, I thought that with the, with the test match itself that we, we came back and uh, after Australia I think had two good days we came back and showed them a, a different sort of a side of us in this cricket and um, it was important for us you know because I think this just opens up the series now in a particular way it's a pity you know that we, we had that little disappointment you know on the fourth day but these things do happen I think uh, maybe the people in the Caribbean and uh, cricket lovers can look forward now to uh, some good, good cricket ahead there it is 101 for Richie Richardson. Congratulations from his captain, his 11th test century and his 6th against Australia. That brings up Vivian Richards 50 as David Boone does the fielding. Another fine performance by Vivian Richards. So the first test was inconclusive. There were signs that the West Indies still had the strength to emerge as series winners. Richie Richardson's second inning century was absolutely magnificent. But Australia too had many positives to reflect upon. Take out Gus Logie's brave innings and Jeff Dujon's support knock. And the Australian bowlers had had the best of the West Indies' first innings. Craig McDermott maintained the full head of steam that he had built up against England in Australia. He took five for 80 from 23 hostile overs and Merv Hughes gave him wonderful backup with 4 for 67. David Boone had scored 109 not out, an innings of immense courage and discipline. Jeff Marsh and Mark Taylor had each put together polished half centuries, but the tale began what was to be a continuing tale of woe. Guyana in the South American mainland was the scene for round two of this heavyweight clash, with both sides claiming to have shared the points from round one. Guyana, a country rich in nature's wonders, a country whose culture is a blend of past and present, and a country that has produced some of the best cricketers in the world.